Oh. Great, terrific. And as a matter of fact, this morning where we are visiting is God's Love We Deliver. It's down here on the edge of Soho. Uh, little Italy is down the street here. And uh, we're going to take you inside just a little bit and show you the folks inside already working to deliver meals to homebound AIDS uh, patients, people who have HIV who are not able to cook for themselves or to help themselves in that way. And they provide nutritious meals and guidance for these folks. And they have been helping thousands of people throughout uh, since 1985 when it started. We'll come back and tell you more about it and show you what's going on and put me to work. It's time to check in with Storm, who looks like he's loose right now in somebody's kitchen. That's right. I am in the uh, kitchen of God's Love We Deliver. Uh, these are some 2,500 volunteers working together to provide help for homebound victims of HIV, AIDS uh, patients, people who, who are dealing with the problem but are also unable to get out and, and shop for food, to make food for themselves. So this organization since 1985 has been dedicated to developing and, and providing them with menus and with food. You can see some of the things that are being provided today. We're going to tell you more about it. They're actually putting me to work today. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, everyone. We're here in the kitchens of God's Love We Deliver. Take a look over here. Lizzie is in charge of uh, the special foods uh, for clients who uh, cannot eat the regular uh, food that they prepare here for most of their clients, specialty foods. This is a large, large vegetable dish that she's making. This is uh, more than we normally, <laughs> more than I see in my house. Well, the latest on the traffic right now, right now with Eileen Marchese Cohen in a quiet morning thus far. Still that way, Eileen? No storm, it's not. Let's go to Storm Field, who is in the kitchen. Good morning, Storm. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, everyone. We're in the kitchens of God's Love We Deliver. It's a group that's dedicated to providing food, nutritional service to those who are unable to provide for themselves. Folks who are homebound, are unable to shop for themselves, cook their own foods. Uh, people who have, uh, their clients mostly have, are HIV victims, uh, HIV clients, as they like to call them. Uh, what they're doing right here is uh, putting together some soup that is going to be part of the package of food that's delivered to uh, the folks at home. And take a look at this. This is fascinating. In the kitchen throughout, there are these tiles with names on them. And some of them have hearts on it. Some of them uh, are just the names themselves. These are uh, for donations. These are in memory of someone who has passed away because of AIDS. And all of these are covering the, the uh, piles and pylons that are holding up the entire building. So in effect, the donations and the memory of all these people are supporting the entire building, the entire uh, group of God's Love We Deliver. It's really quite nice. You can actually buy a tile, if you like, for uh, $250, which is quite reasonable. Uh, in the next uh, bite, you'll probably see me uh, doing some work because uh, Michael McCarthy, the executive chef here, has decided that as long as I'm here and dressed appropriately, I have to go to work. Uh, latest on our traffic, which as always these mornings seems to be getting worse as the hours go along. Eileen Marchese Cohen. Eileen. Thank you, Storm. Time to check traffic and weather together on the two. Do you smell something I good? I do. I think Storm's cooking. I think he's in the <laughs> kitchen again. Yeah, that's right. We're here in God's Love We Deliver down uh, in the Soho area where uh, every morning, every day uh, from uh, early in the morning till late at night, volunteers are in here providing and, pr and preparing meals for people, clients who have uh, HIV and are unable to uh, get out themselves and make food for themselves and nutritious meals. This is uh, applesauce and it is, too bad you don't have a smell of vision as Nick can show you, it is beautiful. This is all homemade. And over here, also applesauce, but this applesauce is just a little bit different. You know, there are a number of uh, people who have uh, HIV who are unable to eat a, a standard diet, need something special and uh, Liz Borden is the uh, special chef who uh, provides those meals and kind of makes something up extra special for them to uh, provide to their needs. Our weather, we're going to tell you more about uh, God's Love We Deliver. Let's talk about weather right now. Uh, that's the latest on that. I know traffic seems to be getting worse and worse. Eileen Marchese Cohen with maybe some good news, Eileen, please. Okay, a little bit of good news. All right. Let's start things out with Storm. Now, Storm, uh, Cindy's going to go to the U.S. Open later on today. She wants to know what she should wear. Preferably not something like what you've got on right now. I think this is a very fashionable look for the U.S. <laughs> Open. I think uh, just to have anything with this logo on is fashionable. Oscar, when we throw that in there, uh, I'm, I'm going to be cooking here at uh, God's Love We Deliver. Right now we're uh, making some uh, vegetables, sautéing a whole bunch. Thank you. i tell you, you think canoeing's good exercise? This will get you some exercise. We're uh, putting this together. These meals are not only for uh, folks, uh, clients who have uh, HIV, but also 
if they have children and they're unable to prepare meals for them, this group also provides there. And if you think like you want, maybe you want to volunteer and help out here at a group like God's Love We Deliver, we're going to give you all the information on that a little bit later. Right now, Eileen Marchese Cohen's music is playing in my ear. And let's check out Storm Field. What's it like out there, Storm? Hey, good morning there, Cindy. Good morning, Steve. We're at God's Love We Deliver. The kitchen's uh, big at work. We're cutting out carrots right now. I'm with Trudy and Ken and Katie and Adrian over there. We're all uh, preparing part of the 450 people who show up here to volunteer every week to help prepare meals for homebound HIV clients. Let's take a look at our weather. Come on, Katie, no looking at the TV. We gotta get these carrots going. Trudy, you're doing fabulously. I gotta cut up some more carrots for Trudy. Uh, we'll have more over here from God's Love We Deliver a little bit later. Now let's go to Eileen with Lace and Traffic. Now, Steve Ducey, Cindy Shu, and Storm Field with weather. This is 2 News This Morning. Okay, let's start things out with Storm. Well, I'm on cilantro patrol now, Steve, <laughs> Cindy. Uh, and the only way to get these leaves off is to pluck it by hand. Trudy is, again, leading the lead. She's got the fastest fingers. You cannot believe it. In real life, an artist. We have a creative director from Saatchi and Saatchi, Katie. Adrian has actually started her own business. What's the name of it, Adrian? The Bow Wow Bakery. The Bow Wow Bakery. She's baking things for dogs. And Ken just peels cilantro and cuts carrots full time. <laughs> Great guy. Got some soup here for 760 people. We're going to be telling you more about uh, God's Love We Deliver a little bit later. Brian here stirring up the soup. This is 760 portions of soup. Nothing small in this, Brian. We're going to be back with more information about God's love we deliver and the weather. Now let's check on the traffic with Eileen Marchese. Come on. Good morning, Storm. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Steve. I'm, uh, I'm here on the assembly line. We're actually putting together some uh, meals this morning. There's pork and potatoes and some delicious applesauce. And uh, again, I'm joined by volunteers that come in here every single morning to help provide meals for folks uh, here at God's Love We Deliver. Well, we're continuing to put out the meals here at God's Love We Deliver. We're going to tell you more about that a little bit later and introduce you to the executive chef and the director of the organization. Now let's check with the traffic conditions with Eileen Marchese Cohen. And let's start with Storm. Good morning, Storm. Hi, I feel like the coxswain of a, uh, of a rowing team here. We've got people down at this end ladling the soup in. Then it's uh, shaken, not stirred. And uh, your Tupperware party goes on <laughs> down the line and then passed on to uh, the guys at the end who are stacking it into these containers and then it goes on its way out to the trucks getting to be delivered to the folks who need it. We're here in the kitchens of God's love we deliver and the whole idea is to help people who uh, need the help, need the good nutrition to keep going. Uh, outside right now are so three storms we have to watch. Traffic now, uh, latest from Eileen Marchese Cohen. Eileen? Thank you, Storm. And let's go to Storm, who's in the kitchen with God's Love We Deliver. That's right, Cindy, Steve, and it has been a fabulous morning. You know, it's unusual, but folks here are still packing up the soup, getting ready to go out to those who need it. This is one of those things where people don't mind getting up early in the morning. It makes them feel good, alive, to be able to help others. It's great. If you would like to be one of the volunteers, here's the number to call, 212-294-8100. Trust me, you won't be sorry about this. Only the need is a commitment of three hours a week, you can spare that. So enjoy it, bring lots of sunscreen with you. Latest on the traffic, Eileen Marchese-Cohen. Eileen.